Hello, this is Julian Renault from Exios Great Britain, Head of Service, and today I would like to show you how to inspect your electric kill sump pump. So the electric kill pump system is fitted with three items, the sensor at the very bottom of the sump, the pre-filter and the non-return valve. If we start with the sensor, the only thing you need to do is to wipe the two sensors off with a clean uh, wet rag to clean the slime off so it doesn't uh, affect the sensor. Then you've got the pre-filter. which you just unscrew and you can clean the filter and also you should uh, put some silicone on the o-ring to make sure this is lubricated and lastly the valve that is preventing water from draining back into the sump once it's been pumped out and yes getting the pump started again so and then you can pour some fresh water in to make sure it works and this will stop it's got a delay in the switch You can check there is no leak on the filter and also that water is not flushing back. When the boat is left unattended and your batteries are off, you can or you should keep the keep kill sump pump switch on. This is the only switch on the board that is powered even with the batteries off and this is to make sure water will drain in your absence. And when you come back to the boat, you should manually activate the electric pump to make sure that yeah, your automatic switch is still working and you have no water in the sump.